Hey everyone, I'm Natalie Bensavanga, host of Five Minutes With, and I'm so excited. This week, I'm having the wonderful Tori Snyder, the founder of Self Care Senoritas, chat with me so I can learn more about her amazing company, how she started, and the importance of self care, how it is more important, honestly, now than ever. So, thanks so much, Tori, for joining me. Thank you for having me. I've been a fan of yours for years, and I love that you tell the stories of you know, small businesses and women and, and people in this city that matter. So thank you for giving us a voice. Well, you are awesome. And I'm happy to support everyone that's doing great things in Pittsburgh. So tell me a little bit about how you transitioned from the work that you were doing to now running your own business. Yeah. So I have a kind of a crazy trajectory. I worked in higher ed doing uh, diversity and equity work for about nine years and still do that on the side. Mm -hmm. Then I left there to work in the film industry, which none of those tie together. Um, <laughs> and so in the film industry, I worked as a producer, um, got a few awards and, and worked with some really great people in a company and um, got to the point where, you know, I was running too many projects at once, um, doing too many things in the community, maintaining myself in an active lifestyle. Um, and then I decided to become a mom. And so now as a mom, I'm also running around with a gorgeous little toddler and it just became too much and my body literally shut down. It burned out. And the doctor said, you need to take two weeks off. You need to rest, no screen, no TV, no work, no computer. Having worked since I was 15, I had no concept of what that meant or what I would do. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I realized that I needed to change my lifestyle. If I was going to be around for Braxton, I needed to be of sound mind, body, and spirit. And I just wasn't that in any way, shape, or realm. So July 22nd, 2019, I started with this idea called Self Care Senorita, which was a blog. And now it has morphed from a blog into a wellness community. And we're going to be producing some physical products and more workshops and conversations and actually a course coming up soon. That all sounds amazing. And so when, when you're talking about self-care, what does self-care mean to you? And were you surprised at what people were asking for? So self-care for me had been like coffee and a bubble bath or maybe a vacation. And those are all great concepts, mm -hmm. but sometimes you need more than coffee, but you can't always get that vacation. So I wanted to explore other ideas and concepts of what self-care meant. Mm -hmm. And so I figured if I needed to explore the idea that my friends and other people needed to explore the idea as well. So how do we share in this collective agency of understanding different forms of self-care? So that's mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. And so I started a journey and I blogged about it and then created kind of a Facebook group and it's just grown from there. And so you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, uh, even Pinterest. You can pin some of our self-care ide ideas um, and just kind of taken a tour of what it means. One area that I explored that I didn't think I'd enjoy was rock climbing. I did it over at Ascend on the South side um, and it was a wonderful form of self-care. Would have never gotten into it if I wouldn't have challenged myself to find other forms outside of what I normally thought was my own self-care. Tori, as we wrap up this five minutes, I just want to know, what are some things for the future that people can enjoy through uh, Self-Care Senorita? What can they see or attend or do? Yeah, so we have some really great programs and workshops coming up. So make sure you head over to our Facebook group to uh, add those in. We also are working on a subscription self-care box. Mm -hmm. um, so the different themes will be meditation, sleep, eating right, financial empowerment, and the list goes on covering different areas of self-care. But what is most important about the box is that all the items are sourced from local, small, and minority-owned businesses. So we want to support businesses like Naturally Beautiful, Royally Fit, um, you know, things like that to make sure that the forms of self-care that you're getting trickle back down into our economy. We saw how um, relentless COVID has been on our small businesses, and this is a really great way to take care of yourself mind, body, and spirit, but also support the local economy. As a minority-owned, women-owned business now, I, there was no question about that any product we were going to use had to be supporting people that looked like me and created businesses the same reason why I did. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Tori, for sharing your story and your new business venture. I'm so excited for you, and I can't wait to learn more and check out your subscription boxes for myself, too. So thanks for spending five minutes with me. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.